Hello, my name is Sean, and I'll walk you through setting up your Adobe Premiere Pro project for uh, collaboration uh, for audio post. And I'm going to break this down into three separate videos, a timeline setup, a video export, and an audio export. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, go ahead and move your playhead on your the sequence that you want to collaborate on to uh, your very beginning, usually at zero, zero. Check your sequence settings by going to sequence and then settings. Make sure your time base, aspect ratio, and fields are set. The display format should be the first one in this drop down box, usually uh, drop frame time code. Go ahead and click OK. And we want to move the start time to a, uh, a, a different start time for collaboration. And we're going to do that by clicking on this box over here. Click on start time. And we're going to change this to 00. zero. 59 58 00 so it should be 00 colon 59 colon 58 colon 00 click OK and now your start time should read as 59 58 um, this is important for us for um, moving over our timeline to start at the one hour mark and we need the extra uh, two seconds ahead of time to drop in our two pop and I'll explain that in a little bit. So next let's go ahead and select everything. I'm going to do that by hitting Control A on my keyboard and literally going to grab and drag over two full seconds and right now at the one hour mark it should start the video. Boom. One hour on the dot. Okay so next we're going to need to create um, a new video track and we're going to do that and we're going to say after the last video track which is the most top one uh, we don't need any audio tracks right now um, but yeah we'll go ahead and leave that off for now and I'll show you why in a bit so we created an additional video track uh, we need to have a just create a new adjustment layer I already have one created here um, you can do that by clicking on new item adjustment layer click and drag onto your project and you want to drag it from the very or expand it from the very beginning of your your project to the very end so I'm going to go ahead and zoom out so I can do that quickly and now that adjustment layer takes up the entire length of that timeline which is exactly what we want um, the next thing we want to do is add an effect and we're going to add the time code clock onto that adjustment layer. So click and drag onto that clip. Scoot over and we're on this clip already so we're going to click on the effects control panel and we see the time code, code option right there. We're going to scoot it so it actually shows visible and it does show visible right there. I'm going to uncheck the field symbol, just one last thing cluttering up your screen. You want to make sure the format is set to SMPT, um, not frames or feet for frames. Uh, this isn't an actual film, stock film. This is actually you know, a project within Adobe Premiere. Uh, time code source, you want to make sure that's set to generate. And your time display, make sure this is accurate to what your project is. Um, typically, if it's a narrative, you'll set it to 24. Um, this is a, uh, a for TV, a YouTube type of uh, show, so I set it to 30 drop. And right now, we have a little problem. We our video is sh showing on our screen or right here at one hour, but our time code is showing at two seconds, and that's a problem. And that's the reason why for that is our starting time code in our generator is set to zero zero and not the same thing as before. So we're going to go ahead and change this to zero zero, fifty nine, fifty eight, zero zero. Hit enter, and boom, that TCG or that time co time code generator should be in sync now to what we have on our timeline. Um, now we go and scroll back. The only problem now is I see is that we go to the very beginning, but we don't see the time code code clock until the video pops up and that's going to be a little problem for us because we want to see everything just to make sure 
um, that's working properly and everything's in sync. What I did to get around this really quickly is I literally created a um, a black video, a new black video, and dragged that onto a track right below for those uh, two seconds below, and boom. Now the adjustment layer will actually affect that and show the clock all the way through. So right now we have our timeline mostly set up. We have our time code clock on our screen. And the last thing we need to do is add a two pop to the very beginning for a sync reference. Um, what a two pop is, is a one, kilo, one kilohertz tone um, sign tone that lasts one frame long and that is used as a sync reference kind of like a clapperboard on location except you do it in post so I'm going to drag my sign tone onto uh, my screen here and as you can tell it's a very long sign tone let's enable it so you can actually hear it and it's way too long so I have to scoot it all the way down and see what we need to do. Now, luckily I have this set up to one frame. Oh, not so much. Let's scoot down a little bit more. There we go. And literally that lasts one frame. So I'm going to hit play. You should only hear a little beep and that's perfect. That lasts exactly one frame and that's your your sync reference um, for audio. So you have your timeline set up, you verified your project settings, you have uh, your two pop popped in, you have your time code, your time code uh, generator on the screen and now you're ready to move on to the next video. Uh, thank you for watching this one, stay tuned and the video export and the audio export is coming up next. Thanks. Bye.